Attention, and don't you forget to mention When y'all say it's your time, watch how they gotta pay attention In the last days without doing anything to be mentioned On the app designed to put your mind in prison It's extensive, covered in that cost your soul I'm like, surely it's Shalom family, y'all know what time it is We are back Johannesburg, aka Joe Berg is dope out here. Oh, it's been real smooth vibes. Still early. As you can see, I got on the jacket, I got on the beanie. The weather is um it's not necessary. It's cool. You know, it's not cold, but it's cool. So uh, which is it's, it's a good switch up. I can honestly say it's a good switch up from uh Ghana and West Africa where it's always pretty hot, pretty muggy. Um, you definitely see the difference. Like, everything here is paved, everything here is built up. Um, we on day three. We're gonna keep y'all locked and loaded. Um, just wanted to tap in as we go on through this day. Hope everybody's doing good, everybody's blessed and having a uh, blessed day, having a blessed week. If you have been enjoying the content, make sure you do your part, make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment, make sure you share, family. It's very important that you share it, family. Um, we're going to be trying to uh, upgrade a lot of the equipment and, and things. And a shout out to everybody, whoever it was that reached out and told us about uh, uh, the situation with the audio. I had the wrong cord into the mic, so the mics wasn't even working. We was just working off um, regular recording, so that's why certain things were the way they were. But I was able to figure it out, and we back. And we will be upgrading, doing better getting more to make sure that the content is good so if you would like to help do so you know you can do that via cash out but let's get into it we're gonna start our day a3 and joe bird so this right here is called city perk cafe food on the go as you can see as we get ready to do what we need to do all praise to the most high we set on the day See the atmosphere. Just bought my beanie from uh, right here. You know what I'm saying? I got two of them. I got a black one and a red one. I'm trying the red one right now. And then I'm going to try the black one. We're going to see what goes best with the outfitter. Crazy. Um, so many things have been debunked. We're going to talk about it. You know, I know me, all I heard. Every time somebody mentioned South Africa, it was like, oh, you're going where the Caucasian folks are. And that's just not what I've seen. I've seen nothing but our people. You see them, but it's no different from how I see them in Ghana, honestly. You see them in Ghana, they ain't in Ghana too. Um, but you never hear that stigma being attached to it. We'll go deeper into that part. But, this is City Park Cafe. We're just stopping by to grab something quick. Then we're on the way to one of these tours. I'll keep you posted. All right, family, as you can see, got the quick egg, tomato, and cheese. Frappe. Lattes. Vanilla almond. <laughs> Chocolate vanilla almond right there. That's chocolate vanilla almond. That's caramel delights. <laughs> this is for my people. Keep your head up the code of shame. Go to stay the cross by the bus. All right, you know my game. But I saw all this muscle cream. The guy is gay. And y'all is everything. Shalom, shalom, family. Oh. So we're going to do the scooter tour. My daughter is a little afraid of the scooter, but we're going to get it worked out. But what I want to point out right now is look at the hills. South Africa is very mountainy, very hilly from what I've seen. Like nothing is really flat. It's a lot of hills. I say that because I've been doing a lot of research on 
where true rap Yasha Rail is. And a lot of it has been leading into this area going up into Central Africa. Um, when, when you think about reading books like Joshua um, and how much land y'all actually gave to Abraham and how much they actually conquered, um, it's way bigger than what we can imagine. So as I continue to be in prayer on it, there's certain things that be standing out to me. Standing out. Sure you want to go through the safari and Kruger, right? Have you done that before? Are you going to do it soon? We want to. You want to. And I'm sure if the decision is yes, we're doing it, you want to go see lions so you can conquer this. Exactly. Yeah. That's right. It's not the same. I know it's not the same. What's more dangerous? Going to see lions or this? I'm not worried about lions. You should be. <laughs> you shouldn't be worried about this, but the lions. Because be here there ain't the no lions, lions here. Here we're just going to be trying to have fun and this is the only instrument we have to make life easy for us. Mm -hmm. Because they depended on slave labor to do everything. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So you know, across to this end, South Africa is right here on the border of uh, what they call the Atlantic Ocean. Mm -hmm. It used to be called the Ethiopian Sea. I know that for a fact. So even the, even it's so like... So now this us later where they took now the Indian people and moved them to a neighborhood called Lenasia. They took the African speaking group, which we call or regard as the Khaled group, and they moved them to El Dorado Park. They take the Asian group and move it north of Johannesburg and then in a neighborhood called Cyril Dean. And then on the following year, 1904, one million black people were later relocated from Johannesburg to the burning of what we call today. Southwestern Townships or Soweto. Right. Yes. So the name is a question and a direction at the same time. Imagine how cool are the people are. Let's move this way. Rain. Now guys, I hope you don't mind me diving into history that much because it's, it's only the, re the reason behind that is now that I know that we can't be, we won't be able to move around as we would. Yeah, so we it's love best history. To, you know, yeah. break all the branches and everything and just give you all the history, you know. For the short space we're going to be moving in, but at least have a big pile of history to take home with, you know. The space in which we're in is the Hector Peterson Memorial, which stands celebrating the movement of the class of 1976, who are the people who embarked on what was known as the student uprising, all in a focus of fighting against the apartheid laws, which were introduced in the educational side of things, which was mainly known as the Bantu education system. Bantu. Say it again. The Bantu. Bantu education. Also a Hebrew tribe. Descendants of Abraham. <laughs> so Bantu in African context simply refers to people. Yeah. In my home Zulu language. Uh, wait, I'll elaborate when I say people. Huh? Right? In Zulu, my home language we say Abantu when we refer to a group of people. Abantu. Okay. And then there's the unity spirit in Africa, which we call Ubuntu, mm -hmm. which means being one. So now, Abantu, which people are we referring to? Everybody. Yeah. Not just anybody. Remember, there's people who came from us. But who were the first to land? It's us. You know why I say that? It's the reason why we're in the world. It's not because of slavery. Partial, partially, or part of it is to do with slavery. No, 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 no. We own this world. 
we were found moving in this world. We're the most numerous. We were found walking this land. Yes, original man. You know I say that. Stop recording that. I want to tell you something. An incident. And that's what they don't want to admit. Say that one more time, I bet it wasn't recorded. <laughs> it was good too, that's why I had to double it back. I said, we gotta double that back, we need that. <laughs> you gotta stay with me, understand? Because this is no no show, this is a flow, buddy. This yeah. is energy, it's not me, it's my ancestors talking to you guys. Yeah. Right. Abantu is us, the original, the original, rightful owners of this planet, the people. So the Dutch decide for the black people, we're gonna give them a black system. So what the name should be? The Bantu, the black system, Bantu education system, whereby now a black child like me and you was now later forced to be taught in a foreign language, where the likes of geography, biology, physical science, and mathematics is compulsory subjects were taught in Africa. You don't wanna ask me, what the hell is Afrikaans? Afrikaans is the youngest language in the world. Diluted from the Dutch language. That's what he was saying. It right. sounded like there was like a, yeah. you can hear it in the language. Yeah. 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 It comes from the Dutch. So now what that means is that's the oppressor's language. So let's teach them the oppressor's language. You know why? They will fail. Yeah. You and I were not supposed to have white collar positions at work. You know, we're supposed to be gardeners, domestic jobs, carpentry, farming, gardening, you know, those lousy yeah. stuff. Yeah. See? Yeah. And chances are, you might not work. You know? I, as the man, I gotta go make the money. You know? But how do I make the money? It's a lousy job. So now, we as black people, we worked in the city. We were permitted to be in the city jail. Couldn't just walk in the city. What? Not during apartheid. We had to have a permit. It states that you, you work for that white lady there. You, you, yeah. So that was basically like slavery when they had their papers and they could only go out yeah. during slavery with the papers yeah. that said you could you, be out you, you 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 the plantation. The permit must say that you work for that lady. You know, you, you, you do gardening for this guy. Yeah, and it, it must stay when you should be in the city and out of the city. Wow. Oh, uh, it couldn't be found place. at night walking to her this big road. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. We permitted. Yeah. So that's why they gave us the terrible and horrible education system. The students started failing. In the first term, month of May, the decision was made that no, 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 no. We're going to start boycotting these classes, prepare on a peaceful march which was going to take place on the 16th of June. And Jay and I all going to gather up as students marching to the Orlando Stadium to submit a memorandum that states that we don't want to be taught in Africa no more. Mm. Come 16th of June, you know, after 16th of June 1976, well, that's the day that changed the history books of South Africa. Because Apartheid was a generational struggle. The man, the main target. It reminds me of the civil rights movement in those times in the US. And I'm sure they attacked the man first. Yeah. Because now, if you guys are my family, and they bulldoze the door down, who's gonna bark first? Me. You're like, hey, what the heck? And now the attack will come to me. What does that do to you guys? Um, it infiltrates fear. So the man fought, punished. Can I ask you a question? When did, when did apartheid start? Segregation, my friend, started 1904. Initially. 1904, okay. So now, I'm powerless. My image is tarnished at home. What's going to happen? She will fight. She the mama. She will go, well, I'll run with the baiting now. The mamas failed to the youth. To the youth. It's 1976 student uprising. Because now the youth is fearless. 
Hey, they got nothing to lose. You know, it is do or die. Yeah. They ran with that mindset. That we can't be taught in such a system. We'll fight for our education. We want to go to school. We just don't like the system in which it's used in school. So, protesting is a right. Huh? Yeah. They embarked on that. Well, South Africa and black people never had rights at that time, so protesting wasn't a right for them, apparently. And that's maybe what led to the shooting of the students. This does not sound very familiar. It's, it's America, same thing, they did the same thing. Now let me teach you something, my friend. Apartheid was formed and based on all the stories and horrific, terrible things which have happened in the whole world. It's a study of all those things and combined and came up with this very stupid system called the Apartheid. So it will sound like it something the, it like was the, the same, Holocaust, it was the, something like what Hitler did. It was the did, same enemy like, doing the same thing to the same people. Because like you said, we, we're all around the world. And that, that's what's just sticking out to me as you're explaining it, that all of us were going through the same thing, where, no matter where we were. Yeah, because it was the idea of the oppressor. Suppressing, <laughs> while suppressing you milk from whatever good in which those places have. Then you leave them stranded like that and confused and in fear. Yep. And you move on and do the same thing next to somewhere else. Now imagine this, you said it. You said we're all around the world. Imagine if we united. Hmm. We got all the numbers. Look man, <laughs> I don't wanna go down the line with uh, I'm saying if we I'm did like, that boy, man, shoot. Now, here's the thing, my friend. The reason why the system will never ever favor you is because there's more of you. You understand what I'm saying? There's, there's more a fear. black people everywhere in the world where you find black people, even in the US. You know, black people are not a small group. No, if they were a small group, they wouldn't be bothered so much. So they infiltrate fear in every sense. Look, you know what, my friend? There's black people with good. We're so good, Jay. We rule everything we touch. Yeah. Look at the music scene. Who blows the charts? It's us. Yes. Judah. Bruce. Hmm? That's right. Sports? Judah. It's us. <laughs> Every sport. It matters yeah. not. Uh, what? It can be white dominated and whatever. Down. Look, Down. we are there. <laughs> and in that juncture, we are fucking shit up. <laughs> Golf? Tiger Woods. Formula One, <laughs> Lewis Hamilton. NASCAR, Bubba Wallace. Look, you want me to go on? Tennis, Serena. Yeah. Look, we live. And that's what they fear. There's nothing we touch that doesn't turn into gold. Because we are gold. Woo! Good gracious. You know? You know why your hair can grow straight up? It's a crown. You're the only person on earth that has hair growing up. Everybody else is growing down and growing back. But yours stands. I was going like that. Yeah, yeah I'll go sideways. But everything that stand. you just said, everything that you just said, the Bible says, scriptures, and I'll just say scriptures, go because the scriptures predate even the name Bible. But mm. The scripture says that he had a particular people that he chose to be his. Who are and it's people? not hard to see when you look at their characteristics. They'll be in the worst situations. The last shall be first and mm -hmm. the first shall be last. They'll be in the worst situations yet. Mm -hmm. They can be the most talented. Oh, exactly. <laughs> Come on. Who, who, who's that? <laughs> you know? Make something out of nothing. All over the world. Exactly. Because <laughs> we're what? You said it. We're gold. That's why we glow and shine on the sun. That's why sunscreen is not something we rely on. It was introduced to us. We don't really need that shit. Yeah. I hear people say, I bet you'll get cancer. I'm like, God is not stupid, man. He wouldn't put me in this hot sun in this hot continent and make sure that I'm gonna die of skin cancer. What the heck you talking about? Let me use that skin, whatever. That's when I'll get the cancer because I'm fighting what my body can already fight. You understand what I'm saying? So these guys fight like we've been fighting and still fighting to date and that picture came about
Now what you are looking at, let's get closer there. It's the second world's famous picture. Second what? World's famous picture. Which is number one? Huh? Which one is number one? Come on, search in your breath. Which one? Um, stop here. No? Try again. What are the famous pictures you know of? For Mona Lisa. <laughs> Vietnam bombing. <laughs> Vietnam bombing. The Vietnam bombing. That young girl oh. running down the street. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah you mean when alive. the beast made fire come ah, down from exactly. heaven. Exactly. Gotta stay with me. Yeah. We're on a spiritual journey here. Yeah. You know, jumping on his slippery boots, just stepping, we're walking on top of the water like Jesus. The Vietnam bombing. The lady is still alive. And currently resides in Canada. I know the I can I can see. Huh? Number two, by the name of Sam Nzima, who was a journalist and photogra uh, photographer rather for a local newspaper, today rather known as Sowat. The picture itself portrays the good and bad on what took place on the 16th of June, which stands as the day that changed the history books of South Africa. By looking at the picture, you do see the young student carried on that picture who goes by the name of Hector Zolile Peterson. The individual named after this very memorial site and sadly was the first to be shot on camera mm. Mm. but truth be said or revealed he was the youngest to die on that very day dying at the age of 12 turning 13 the boy was shot three times twice on the stomach and once on the throat what's even worse is he wasn't part of the march or protest but was just sadly caught up at the wrong place, at the wrong time. It was picked up and seen on the picture by a local by the name of Mbui Samakubu from this neighborhood. They ran down this direction where later they were picked up by a car and rushed to the nearby clinic, rather known as the Mandela Sisulu Clinic to date. And that's sadly where Hector Peterson was declared dead. They went down this direction, dumping the cops over here, and Mbuisa was forced to continuously run for his life. By run for his life, I mean he was forced to skip the country after being hunted down by the apartheid officials because of being seen on that very famous picture, which is the picture that went out and told the story to the rest of the world. He was last seen skipping the country to the likes of Botswana. Rumors were saying he was getting a scholarship to the likes of Nigeria. And after that, he was nowhere to be found. And that's the reason of the existence of the walls right behind me. The walls and spaces we call or refer to as the walls of void. The spaces in between symbolize the secrets and untold stories to the history of South Africa. Good news is, the lady is still alive, recently retired, working as a researcher inside the museum over there. And if you're lucky enough, you do get to see her or find her doing her own private tours at the memorial itself. The water dripping down just behind me on this podium will be a symbol to our tears and blood. It slowly moves underneath the furrows to the stones or rocks in a sign of washing of our tears and blood away. The stones or rocks you see over there symbolize the only weapon or ammunition the students had to fight back police officers who opened live ammunition and them just having stones to fight back. The memorial stone was unveiled on the 16th of June 1992 by the African National Congress while well, was erected by the ANC but giving Nelson Mandela the opportunity or privilege of unveiling it in celebration of not only Hunter but all the students who lost their lives while they were fighting for their educational rights. The olive trees you see over here, these would be wild African olive trees. They don't bear any fruits, but in South African context, they stand representing peace and reconciliation. You said wild African olive tree? 
wild the olive branches yep but they don't bear any fruits these ones but stand representing peace and reconciliation as i said mm. that's that romans 11. <laughs> right Roman your view 11. changes to that direction now the best view we have right now on a walking tour is this of the tallest landmark in Soweto. Now this will lead me to speaking or talking about Grab a cool picture, Come I can grab it for you guys on your phone. One, oh, okay. one picture with us. <laughs> go ahead. Come, come. Go ahead. Come on, Jay. Come, come on. Come on, Jay. <laughs> come and join the party. Amanda! Hey! Amanda! Hey! Amanda! Hey! Amanda! Hey! Oh, yeah, Pumela! Oh, yeah, Pumela! Pimpy! Oh, yeah, Pumela! That's in Mandela! That's in Mandela! That's in Mandela! Okay, I'm cool. Yeah. Okay. So guys, if you have anything small to tell you, okay. 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 Yeah. 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 Part of the puzzle of the traditional dances, and uh, yeah, my tribe is like stubborn like that. I was like trying to try to explain, you know, like yo, time. Hey, wait, I'm just been walking. But that was good to see. I've always wanted to see it. Oh, yeah. I hadn't, oh, I hadn't so experienced it yet, so. So they felt you in the spirit. Yeah. Like, so I was, they were like, okay, we don't care how we are in the hurry. Like, this lady wants to see us, not you. You, you know us. Leave the hand, leave us the hand alone. Yeah. Okay. 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 Hallelujah. Hey.